BJP's Mission Telangana The Bharatiya Janata Party's determination to expand its footprint in the south, especially in the state of Telangana, with its successful National Executive Committee, that is the NEC, followed by the massive public meeting addressed by none other than Prime Minister Narendra Modi, seems to have created a flutter in the ruling TRS. Awarded party founder president K Chandrasekhar Rao is reportedly to have gone into a huddle with some party leaders to rework the party strategy to counter the BJP's aggressive plans. The BJP has already put an act together by creating four clusters dividing the 17 Lok Sabha constituencies of the state well ahead of the upcoming polls. and appointing a union minister each for the four besides other senior ministers who were directed to make frequent visits to spearhead the party campaign as part of its direct connectivity with the voter cluster number 1 of lok sabha constituencies consists of adilabad a reserved seat for sc ls peddapalli for sc zahirabad and medak it will be headed and monitored by union minister purushottam rupala Two union ministers who will be visiting that will bolster the confidence of the party Kada our finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman and minorities minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi in the likelihood of Nakhvi becoming the vice presidential nominee of the NDA another senior union minister could be assigned this job and the second cluster which covers Malkajgiri Hyderabad Shivala and Bhubanagiri will be managed by another union minister Prahlad Joshi Young Firebrand Union Minister Jyotira Aditya Skindia and his cabinet colleague Devi Singh Chauhan were drafted to visit and promote effectively how the central schemes are benefiting the people. The third and fourth clusters are being headed by Union Ministers Mahendra Pandey and G L Varma, and the constituencies covered are Mahbub Nagar, Nagar Kurnool (SC) and Nalgonda, all in the third cluster. Besides Varangal (ST). Mahbub Nagar SC and Khambam constituencies respectively in cluster 3 only Kailash Chaudhary will be campaigning besides Pandey while in the fourth cluster it is Rao Indrajit Singh along with Varma how far the BJP will succeed let us hear from retired brigadier GB Reddy a political commentator who had penned many books on the country's internal and external security matters the latest bjp executive committee meeting was held as a success followed by the parade ground meeting also was held as a major success the crowd that came to attend the meeting was not promoted by the political leaders and the crowd had a large number of youth in their midst it clearly shows that the people's moods are changing rapidly against trs and the reasons are very simple dynasty family rule neo feudalism or neo maharajas the common man is no longer interested in it corruption is a reality 30000 crores of college from project going to 1 lakh crores surely calls for an audit at the same time one finds that almost all the pillars of the metro rail today has a large number of uh, cutouts highlighting the achievements of the trs and most of them are hard to justify for example it the claim is that metro line the world's largest has been made by the telangana government in reality the metro line project was launched when the you know, united andhra pradesh was in existence and it was based on private public partnership the stake in it lots and tubro stake is 90% whereas the telangana government stake is only 10% no wonder 
బండి సంజయ్ ద బీజేపీ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది తెలంగాణ ప్రెసిడెంట్ బీజేపీ ప్రెసిడెంట్ హ్యాస్ ఆస్ సబ్మిటెడ్ ఆర్టీఐస్ ఫర్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఎయిటీ ఐటమ్స్ టు గివ్ యూ అనదర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ద ఓవర్ ఔటర్ రింగ్ రోడ్ ఆల్సో ఈజ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ సెవెంటీ ఫోర్ పర్సెంట్ బై ప్రైవే ప్రైవేట్ పార్టీ థర్టీన్ పర్సెంట్ ఈచ్ బై గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ అండ్ ద సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ సిమిలర్లీ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది హౌసెస్ ఇన్ ద రూరల్ ఏరియాస్ ఫర్ ద పూర్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఫండెడ్ బై ద సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ అండర్ ది ప్రధాన మంత్రి ఆయోజన స్కీమ్ so the claim that the telangana government has funded and constructed a large number of houses is surely a fake news or a fraud news all these issues are very well known to people people are no more gullible even a vegetable seller in a raitu bazaar has a fancy looking mobile and uh, she knows how to operate the mobile easily and the social media network is very active in telangana therefore the whoever has uh, suggested recommended like for example some people say it is kishor who has uh, uh, prashant kishor who has recommended to trs government to launch the propaganda blitz i am afraid the propaganda blitz may backfire if it is not based on authentic facts so the issue that is going to really hot up is dynastic rule of duras which is the upper caste versus the obcs versus the yesis and sts on the other side trs will be supported by the ai mm obc is party he has to make up his mind as to whether he would go with the support of muslims or also take away the hindu vote bank he tries to portray himself as a staunch hindu leader however there will be no takers in telangana for his claims so when one considers all these issues all i want to highlight is people even in the rural areas are no more gullible people and they will vote based on liquor and biryanis so the next elections whenever they are held either in 2023 early part or later part as per schedule will be highly bitterly contested between the hindutva forces of the bjp and the so called pseudo secular dynasty rule of telangana rashtra samiti Interestingly even seasoned media practitioner like A Ram Mohan former India Today Telugu magazine's assistant editor to feels that this is likely going to be tough for the pink party led by K Chandrasekhar Rao in the upcoming assembly polls yet groupism with the state party unit may play a spoil sport for its chances this is what he has to say BJP's national executive which held for two days in Hyderabad and a public meeting after that has created hopes among bjp cadre and leaders and at the same time telangana people started looking at bjp as an alternative to ruling trs trs which is uh, ruling uh, the state the new state in the country for last 8 years is, is really very little to show that uh, they have improved the uh, life conditions of uh, telangana people the misrule and then also reckless decisions have affected uh, people's daily lives which is which has started giving results with this with this new uh, uh, emphasis on uh, uh, in emphasis by national uh, leaders to enter into telangana and uh, develop 
party as an alternative to ruling TRS is uh, encouraging not only uh, local uh, leaders but cadre throughout Telangana. Leaders, if, if they are really interested in achieving that, they can. But there, there are certain limitations which are very clear to uh, uh, BJP's uh, growth. The first and foremost thing is they, they, they still suffer the Congress kind of uh, disease is that they, there are groups in uh, Telangana BJP now. Three groups are in Telangana according to latest information. The three groups, though the uh, party looks uh, as united outside, the three groups are working independently within the party. Meanwhile, a determined center also looks to discipline the state economy as it restrains the KCR government's planned loans. As a result, the state government may have to fall short of another rupees 20,000 crore in the current financial year, if one has to believe news reports. KCR and his son and minister KT Damarao may boast of introducing a slew of welfare schemes to benefit every section of the society in the state. But how these schemes go through and manage to be implementable is getting exposed. The common man in Telangana is less likely to fall for KCR's and KTR's bluster, it appears. The BJP is steadily gaining ground in certain areas, and to be fair to the Congress, it is also picking up in many strongholds under the leadership of its firebrand TPCC chief Revanth Reddy. KCR's good governance is getting exposed by the R, both by BJP and Congress, much to his discomfiture. As for KTR, some political analysts describe him as a social media warrior rather than a grassroots politician. BJP has also been criticizing KCR and his family about dynastic rule in Telangana being perpetrated by the Kalvakunta family. It is likely to go all out to propagate the fact that many of the projects while TRS attempts to showcase as its governance achievements or in reality being funded by the center. How far the BJP's all-out war to capture the southern state will prove fruitful, only time will tell. This is MS Purti for Orange News 9 TV.